We never found out here. What exactly is she hiding? What is the deal with Pinky? Sure, she's a zany, kooky character, but why? And as any devoted fan of the show will know, it's not just her personality that's out of whack. It's her, well, everything. Her behavior, her strength, her speed, her motives, her thought process. Let's make a list. Pinky can survive massive falls from the sky without even a scratch. As Little Shy explained, the first instrument Pinky wanted for this was a trombone. Now I gotta go find a trombone! Yet she never even used it in driving away the Parasprites. Which means she planned for this exact ending. She has the pony equivalent of spider senses. She understands how to speak frog, apparently. I would say Pinky has a very spastic heartbeat, except that this is connected to her head, not her body. So I'm not sure what this even is. She apparently has an arsenal of knowledge that nobody else has. For example, she knew about the Parasprites before even Fluttershy did, and she's the animal expert. She knew all about the duplication pond. She apparently knows all about Daring Do since she kept up with Twilight and Rainbow's argument. She also knew just where to look for certain books and where the Star Swirl the Bearded Wing was. She's apparently able to make bicycle helicopter contraption things. Although this becomes even more impressive when you notice that only the spinning candy in the back stops when she stops pedaling, meaning that this is actually powered by something else. For now, I'm just going to assume that she discovered electricity and isn't telling anybody. She can swallow large cakes whole. She has the ability to remember the names and the birthdays of three to four thousand ponies, according to this in-depth analysis. Her entire cutie mark story seems pretty sketchy to me. And then why did she ever leave home? This isn't ever explained, or at least it hasn't yet. Trixie confirmed that rock farms exist, but Pinky could have still been lying. This is backed up by the fact that Pinky says she never saw a rain boom before. Even though I've never actually seen it. And when you have a memory as good as hers, you don't just forget that sort of thing. And I can't help but feel like Pinky wasn't just being random here. And that's how Equestria was made! She would need super strength to do this. She also has super speed and possibly the ability to teleport. Well, I'm gonna need balloons! One for every pony in Ponyville! She would need three to four thousand balloons to do this. She's hiding something. When she gets angry, this happens. She can make things levitate. Assuming the pinky duplicates are physically alike to the real pinky, there's this, this, and th she has super realistic costumes of at least one, if not more, of her friends. She doesn't even need to breathe to survive. She even figured out how to take objects outside of an imaginary comic book world when nothing else was able to come out with them. Then after just one run-in with a maniac, she can suddenly use her hair as both an extra limb and a jackhammer. And after doing a whole lot more math than is necessary, I found out that according to this clip, Pinky is probably only 13.5 pounds. For a two-foot pony, that's ridiculously light. So, she's extremely light, she's super durable, super fast, super strong, super flexible, she has unnatural abilities that others don't, not even including her sense of imminent danger. She has untold knowledge that the smartest of the bunch is ignorant of. She has extremely acute memory, yet she would forget her own birthday and seeing a rain boom. She is hiding something. She has numerous resources in spite of not even having her own home. Something seems to be overactive inside her. She can change her voice, her appendages, even her facial structure. So what's going on? I had a very difficult time understanding what answer there could possibly be. But then I began to think and realize what does Pinky spend 99% of her time doing? What does she spend all her time and energy, it seems, doing? Making friends. She seems to have an unhealthy obsession, even. She doesn't give up on Cranky until she's finally friends in the end of the episode. She's seemingly addicted to making as many friends as possible. Addicted to making everyone happy, making everyone like her, making everyone love her. No, not Eros love, the kind you have between yourself and a spouse. Philia love, that had between friends. 
but nevertheless it's still love. Now in this universe, who else might we know that can change their voice? Who else do we know that can alter their appearance? And with the duplication pond at one's disposal, what kind of things would you be capable of? Making an army, perhaps? But lastly, I thought, what else feels such a need for love? Or maybe more appropriately, what gains power from love? Yes, I'm suggesting that Pinky may be a changeling. Not Chrysalis herself, as we see the two together at the same time, but maybe she was originally maybe a spy? As we know, the duplicates are physically the same, but not mentally. Their concerns and behavior is different from the original. So maybe after the initial stage of mindless fun seeking, or whatever the ace was for a changeling, this spy eventually became its own person independent of Pinky? Or should I say independent of changelings, thus becoming Pinky? And like I said earlier, Pinky knows and is friends with everyone in Ponyville, a good three to four thousand ponies. If one stallion is enough to overpower Celestia, how much can the accumulated bits of love from thousands of ponies drained over years at a time do? Perhaps give someone unnatural abilities? Or even a sort of spider sense? And when there's more sources of, for food, the portion you need from each source for satisfaction is lessened. The more sources, the less anyone will notice. <laughs>